Who doesn't like a pleasant surprise? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 action movies that were way better than we expected. For this list, we're counting down action movies that far surpassed expectations. We'll be excluding superhero movies because they deserve their own list. Number 10, Dread. Control. Paramedics to my GPS, multiple wounded, and bodies for resign. Perhaps it was the all-too-fresh memories of the cringe-worthy Sylvester Stallone film from 1995. I am the law! But most people didn't have much faith in the second attempt to bring the beloved comic character to the big screen. But imagine our surprise when attempt number two turned out to be a fantastically fun and hard-hitting action movie, with Carl Urban nailing the title role hard enough to wipe Sly and his codpiece from our memories. Yeah, I heard you hot shot. What? I said, hot shot. <laughs> Add in some fantastic and original slow-mo effects, and a tone that captures the satirical edge of the comic surprisingly well, and you have a movie with cult hit written all over it. Defense noted. Number 9. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Take your stinking bar off me, you damn dirty ape! No! Remember what we said before about reviving old properties? Well, this 2011 reboot of the Planet of the Apes franchise is another exception. Anchored by a fantastic performance by the king of mocap himself, Andy Serkis, this account of how hyper-intelligent apes took their first steps towards global domination surprised audiences with its intelligence and pathos. <laughs> Creating a lead that was both sympathetic and relatable despite the whole being a monkey thing. Rather than a cheap cash-in attempt to revive a dead franchise, this entry revitalized the Ape series, leading to a whole new series that continued with Dawn of the Planet of the Apes just a few years later. <laughs> Number 8. Edge of Tomorrow Holy fuck! A film that could be easily summarized by calling it Groundhog Day but with aliens and Tom Cruise is a hard sell, to put it mildly. And by the time of the film's release, most audience members had already dismissed it as another brain-dead Cruise action fest. What are you doing? Find me when you wake up. Watch, come find me when you wake up! And yet, those who gave the film a chance found themselves watching an intelligent and well-crafted film, with Cruz, the most likable and human he's been in years, to say nothing of a surprisingly badass turn from the film's leading lady, Emily Blunt. If only we could relive the day of the film's release and be surprised all over again. You don't talk much. Number 7, Alita Battle Angel. Heroes? All I see are junkyard punks, assorted cyber trash, and a bunch of drunken motorball burnouts too slow to play the game. When it comes to live action adaptations of manga, expectations are generally low. Fans have been burnt before. Published in the early 90s, Yukito Kishiro's cyberpunk manga Battle Angel Alita received its first adaptation with an animated OVA in 1993. Based on the first two volumes of the manga, it became an instant cult classic. I do not stand by in the presence of evil. So, when a live-action adaptation finally climbed out of development hell and onto the big screen, there was both excitement and trepidation. <laughs> Critical reception was mixed, with many pointing out plot holes, but praising the immersive visuals. It received a much better reaction from audiences, who gave it a 93% score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 99! Oh, yeah. Number 6, Mission Impossible Fallout. Walker, what's the matter, hon? Afraid of a little lightning? <laughs> Over the years, Mission Impossible has just gone from strength to strength, provided, of course, we ignore that disappointing second entry. After the excellent Ghost Protocol and Rogue Nation, audiences could have been forgiven for assuming that the franchise had peaked. But Fallout proved that that wasn't the case at all. 
with Tom Cruise still nailing the stunts and action sequences even in his mid-50s. With a welcome return for Rebecca Ferguson and Sean Harris, and the addition of Henry Cavill, the movie was a well-rounded, consistent, action-packed extravaganza that set a new benchmark for the series. This crazy son of a bitch is trying to rob us! Go! Number 5. Mad Max Fury Road Reviving a property that's been stalled for over 20 years rarely turns out well, but director George Miller's return to the series that put him on the map has since been hailed as one of the greatest action movies of the decade. Oh, With a new lead in the form of Tom Hardy, and bigger, badder, and more explosive action than any of the previous installments, the fourth entry in the Mad Max franchise wins additional points for a phenomenally crafted story endearing and memorable characters, and an amazing score by Junkie XL. Miller spent years working to get this film made, and against all odds, his work paid off. Witness me! Witness me! Witness me! Four, the Terminator. Come with me if you want to live. Here in the far flung future, we know that this is one of the most beloved action films of all time. But bear in mind that the two biggest names to come out of the seminal film, star Arnold Schwarzenegger and director James Cameron, were virtually unknown back in the early 80s. I'll be back. Arnie's biggest film before this was Conan the Barbarian, and Cameron's only previous directorial credit was Piranha 2 The Spawning. Who would have guessed that the passion project of a little-known director starring an Austrian bodybuilder with relatively little acting experience would redefine sci-fi action films as we know them? Certainly not us. <laughs> Number 3. John Wick I heard you struck my son. Yes, sir, I did. Yeah, may I ask why? Yeah, well... Because he stole John Wick's car, sir, and uh, killed his dog. Oh. This Keanu Reeves vehicle didn't look like anything too special from the initial trailers, and mostly seemed like just another revenge thriller, but with a dead dog rather than a murdered wife or girlfriend. But when Keanu suits up and sets out to avenge his dearly departed doggy, the resulting carnage is some of the most breathtaking gunplay in early 21st century cinematic history. Rather than the shaky camera work and frantic editing of many contemporary action films, directors Chad Stahelski and David Leitch opted to keep the action clear and coherent. And the result is pure action movie bliss. How good's your laundry? I'm sorry to say that no one's that good. Number 2. The Matrix At last. What do you get when you combine martial arts, Japanese animation, and Plato's Allegory of the Cave? Throw in some Descartes first meditation for good measure. Well, turns out what you get is one of the greatest science fiction films of all time. The human beings are a disease, a cancer of this planet. You are a plague. And we. The, cure. the Matrix took everyone by surprise. In terms of sci-fi, 1999 was supposed to be the year of The Phantom Menace. The Wachowskis had only ever directed a single feature film, and Keanu Reeves' previous forays into sci-fi, Johnny Mnemonic, and Chain Reaction had been critically panned. But together, they opened our eyes to a frightening but thrilling new world, sweeping up four Oscars and launching a blockbuster franchise in the process. You're empty. So are you. I love action movies, often even when they're bad. But the movies on this list are just excellent. Like, take the new Planet of the Apes movies. I made fun of them a lot before someone told me to actually watch them, and when I did, I was so blown away. So what do you think we've put at number one? Is it quite possibly one of the greatest action movies of all time? Of course it is. So let's check out these honorable mentions, and then we'll see the number one action movie that was way better than we expected. And I remember the first time I saw it, too, and it really did exceed my expectations. Yes, I'll hold. We're in no hurry. 
With a name like yours, you're gonna feel right at home. I moved my finger one inch to use my turn signal. Why are these assholes so lazy they can't move their finger one f measly inch to drive more safely? Coming over the top! <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Hit a little traffic. Oh, what? Pull the shit, Bodie! You are crazy! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Die Hard Welcome to the party, pal! It's an action movie classic and one of the greatest Christmas movies ever made. Since Die Hard's release, actor Bruce Willis has become synonymous with action hero. But at the time, he was a sitcom star known best for the comedy drama Moonlighting, where he played a wisecracking detective. Never even think about going up in a tall building again. <sighs> oh God, please don't let me die. In fact, the role of John McClane was originally offered to Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, Harrison Ford, and a string of others. They all turned it down, uninterested in the project, which actually started out as a sequel to 1968's The Detective, starring Frank Sinatra. Fortunately, Willis signed on, and the rest is cinematic history. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? Yippee-ki-yay, mother Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.